This video will show students how to log into Schoology using the Schoology app on a cell phone. First, go to Google Play or the App Store and download Schoology. The first time you fire up the app, it will ask you to enter the school you attend. Be sure you enter Lance Cruz Public Schools as this is the district you attend. Do not enter the school building you attend as this will result in an error. For example, if I entered Middle School North here, I would not be able to enter the app. Instead, students must only enter Lance Cruz Public Schools. Once a student has entered Lance Cruz Public Schools as their school selection, they can either click the arrow to the right of their school selection or select Lance Cruz Public Schools from the drop-down list as they type. After selecting the school, students will be directed to a Microsoft login screen. Here is where the student must enter their user ID. In Lance Cruz, a student's user ID is their student ID number followed by the first three letters of their last name, the at symbol, followed by lc-ps.org. Next, the student must enter their password. A student's password will be their birth date. First we enter the full year, then the month, and last the day. If my birthday was December 4th, 2009, I would enter in the order of 2009, December 4th. Notice I needed to enter a zero before the four. Once the student enters their password, they should touch the sign in button. After this, a dialog box will pop up asking if the user would like to stay signed in. Staying signed in is only for convenience. The next time a user opens the Schoology app, they will log in to the student's account. If this is a shared device, meaning a device with multiple users, one should click No. Please note, by clicking No, the user will be prompted to enter their school, user ID, and password every time they open the app. Be sure the student has their information in a secure location so it can be accessed easily for future use. Upon logging in, a user screen will appear something similar to this. The student can scroll down and see every one of their classes. However, sometimes a user will log in and see a blank screen with a navbar on top of the page. If this happens, go up to Courses in the navbar and click it. Your screen will again display all the student's classes.